Hi everybody, my name is Devika and I am your Techie Tantrika. This week's video is like a gigantic topic. I know this is going to spark a lot of other videos, um, but in the meantime, I'm going to try to streamline this bad boy and deliver it to you in this one video. This is where it will all begin. Now, if you took a look at the description of this video, or at least even the title, you've probably guessed that this is about holistic or tantric self-pleasure or masturbation. You're probably wondering, why this is important. A lot of people don't take the opportunity to actually enjoy self-pleasure, so this is why this video is super important. I actually have clients that I coach through their self-pleasure practice. I give them the advice and they go away and they use it. There's actually like literally billions of reasons why people actually um, invest the time and effort into upping their self-pleasure game, but I will give you the three big reasons that I see um, out of all of the other reasons because, you know, it's a short video. One of the biggest reasons why people try to become better at self-pleasure is because what you do in self-pleasure will translate into what you do in the bedroom. So in other words, you'll become better at sex. If you know what you like, how to touch yourself, um, how to enjoy pleasure and not just try to get to the finish line, you will therefore be able to take that to the bedroom with you. The second reason, and this is also a really big reason, is because it will make you sexy as fuck. Okay. I got a little excited about this one, but what I'm saying is if you know how to give yourself true satisfaction, you will exude this. This will change your vibe and the fact that you are even feeling satisfied will come across with your you know, in your everyday life with other people, and that also includes with other potential partners or other people who you want to date. Which brings me to number three. You get better matches when you can actually self-pleasure better. This is because you now have a higher standard of self-pleasure or pleasure in general, and because of that, you will therefore expect this when you go into bed, which means you'll probably take more time to vet people and look for quality over quantity. This is actually the name of the game here. Because you're not really expecting another person to provide you pleasure, you will take the time out to actually get to know what a person's really all about before you decide to have sex with them. Now, I know that I'm not really giving you one-on-one -on -one advice here, so I can't really make it personalized, but what I am able to do is give you two super helpful tips that will actually help you up your self-pleasure game and become more self-exploratory. The very first one is about breathing. So we hear this a lot in yoga and meditation and other Eastern philosophies. Um, the idea of breathing deep breaths and slowing the fuck down is really important when you're actually in bed and also masturbating. The thing is, our society doesn't really seem to always have great thoughts around masturbation and self-pleasure, and a lot of us bring that shame into it, so we're like trying to get to the finish line and sometimes even taking really short breaths and panting and even tensing our bodies. When you're actually working with learning how to deep breathe while you're masturbating, so like you don't have to do really deliberate breaths, but like <sighs> relaxed breaths as you're actually going about it, this focus switches from trying to orgasm as fast as you can to actually just experiencing pleasure. This is like the waves as opposed to like, you know what I mean. Anyways, so breathing. And this also includes relaxing the body because what happens is when we're getting to the point of orgasm, we tense up and clench your bodies. But in actuality, deep breathing will actually help you also relax your body. And being aware of this relaxation is also super important. Which brings me to number two, feeling pleasure. So number two is about feeling pleasure. We have it very often in our minds that the finish line is orgasm and that we ourselves and we with other people our mission is to make them orgasm, but this isn't the case. In actuality, there are many different ways we can feel an orgasm, not just the conventional ways, but that's in a whole other video, really. When you make the focus about just feeling pleasure, the whole game changes, or giving your partner pleasure. So I advise you, if you've never experienced this before, not only doing number one, but when you're doing the second step of feeling pleasure, don't even try to orgasm the first few times you're doing this. Um, just do it to experience what pleasure feels like and eventually incorporate the orgasm back in. So between these two steps, what will happen is you'll be changing this up and actually just 
feeling more of yourself. Actually, the other thing too is I recommend is that I recommend as we speak is that you actually touch yourself, touch your body in a very kind, loving manner as well. So I hope these two tips help. And I know, like I said, these can seem really basic at first, but you're going up against body memory and you're also going up sometimes against self-limiting beliefs that um, have been just passed down to say that, you know, this is uh, not the best thing to do for yourself. In actuality, it makes you feel really good. Take time, you know, have compassion for yourself and really just enjoy these steps and these moments as you go along. I do hope you like this video. If you do, please press the like button. If you have any questions or recommendations for what you'd like to see in future pleasure videos, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And also feel free to subscribe to this channel so that I can actually help you through the art of zenful dating, finding better matches, and actually just really enjoying life. Until next week, I thank all of you and take care.